Welcome back, everyone. We had a lot of great games in the slate tonight, but we couldn't make it to all of them, unfortunately. But we got all the scores you're looking for right here in the score corner, starting with Emmitsburg getting the 40 nothing shutout over Sioux Central. OB OABCIG got the nice win over Ridgeview tonight as well, 19-15. to And West Sioux was able to get it done against MVA OCOU, 42-22. to Spirit Lake was able to get the 58 to nothing shutout over Okaboji in the Battle of the Great Lakes. Big win there. CLGLR with a nice win over Cherokee, 52 to 7, and Westwood got the shutout over West Monona tonight, 40 to 0. Woodbury Central got a big win over St. Albert, 41 to 6. Alta Aurelia got it done against South O'Brien, 44 to 27, and another shutout down here with MMCRU getting the win, 42 to 0 against Sibley O'Cheaton. Kingsley Pearson got a nice win over Hartley Melvin Sanborn, 34 to 24. Akron Westfield got it done tonight against Galen Catholic, 36 to 7, and Lamar's getting it done in the barn burner against Spencer, 14 to 7. West Bend Mallard got the nice win against Harris Lake Park, 42 to 18. Remsen St. Mary's in a high scoring win over Newell Fonda, 51 to 18. And Plainview got the win over Neely Oakdale in another high scoring battle, 55 to 44. Stanton got a big win over Lions Decatur Northeast, putting up 76 on the board in the win. Hardington Newcastle with a nice win over Wakefield, 65 to 27. And Clarkson Lee getting it done against Twin River, 44 to 6. Stewart got a big win as well tonight against Heartland Lutheran, 60 to 18. Bloomfield putting up big numbers against Randolph, 68 to 8. And O'Neill St. Mary's getting the job done against Niobrara Verdigree, 62 to 14. Elgin Public Pope John got a nice win tonight as well against Boyd County, 22 to 12. Logan View Scribner Snyder with a big win as well, 43 to 20 over Archbishop Bergen. And Oakland Craig just squeaking that one out over Hardington Cedar Catholic, 24 to 21 tonight is the final score. Omaha West Side got the shutout over Norfolk tonight, 41 to 0. Shelby Rising City with a big win over Madison, 62 to 6. And Alcester Hudson got it done against Gayville Vollen, 52 to 22 is the final score there. Elk Point Jefferson with a big win as well tonight, 55 to 6 over Flandreau. Dakota Valley got it done in a low scoring battle against Madison, 12 to 7. And Vermilion shutting out Custer there, final score 14 to 0. Last three scores we've got here tonight. Chester got the win over Viborg Hurley, 35 to 26. Pocahontas area getting the job done over Esac County, 28 to 6. And Esterville Lincoln Central was able to get the 31 to 14 win tonight. That is all the scores we have over in the score corner. But Jason and Connor, I'm going to send it back over to you guys to finish us off. All right, thank you very much, Nick and Connor. The action still continues on the gridiron tomorrow. The biggest game in college, though, at least in our area, 24th ranked Iowa taking on 7th ranked Penn State in Happy Valley. Absolutely. Battle of unbeatens, 2 3 no squads, top 25 matchup in Happy Valley. You can't really beat that kind of, kind of game on a Saturday. Yeah, no, you can't. That's all we have for you guys tonight on Sports Force. Actually, thank you very much for joining us. Join us next week on Friday. We'll see you guys. Have a good weekend.